Miami Dolphins general manager Chris Greer and head coach Mike McDaniel met with the media and discussed the Dolphins' season, they also revealed important information about preparing for the new season. Here are the highlights of the comments from Chris Greer and head coach Mike McDaniel. The first question concerns fullback Byron Jones, and Greer said Jones has worked hard to try to make a comeback. Greer is not yet ready to discuss the team's position regarding Jones' future with the Dolphins. Greer called 2022 a successful season for the Dolphins, although no one was pleased that the ultimate goal of winning the Super Bowl was not achieved. Greer reiterated that Tua is our starting quarterback. We fully expect him to be back next year 100%, ready to go. However, Greer did not address the issue of exercising a fifth year option on his contract and giving him a long term extension. He is now eligible for that for the first time. Greer opposes the notion that Tua is more prone to concussions in the future as he has had several this season. Greer also pointed out that Tua was wearing one of the safest helmets for protection from concussions, although hurt, this may have helped Tua in terms of the media and those who were doubting him. Anyone who has watched the last three Miami Dolphins games can see how important Tagovailoa is to this team. Between the two midfielders who were involved in Tagovailoa's absence, Teddy Bridgewater and Skylar Thompson, Neither of them could even comprehend what was going on with this offense with Tua there, Tagovailoa has proven that he is one of the most accurate passers in the league and he can also make all the throws everyone thinks he can't. The only real final concern with Tagovailoa at the moment is his injury history, it is official that Tagovailoa has had two concussions and widespread debate over whether he has a third concussion has never been official. Concussions in the NFL can get very serious, and when you have a lot of concussions, that becomes a concern. Despite concerns about Tagovailoa's injury history, Tua has proven himself and he deserves a chance to be the Miami longtime answer they've been looking for since Dan Marino. Miami Dolphins will have a change on the defensive side of the ball after defensive coordinator Josh Boyer. Those expecting the Dolphins to continue with their current defense won't be thrilled to hear that Miami has fired their defensive coordinator and other coaching staff on that side. I am grateful for Josh's contributions this year and throughout his tenure with the Dolphins, McDaniel said in a statement. The defense has made strides throughout the season, so coming to this decision has not been easy. But ultimately I feel it is in the best long-term interests of the Miami Dolphins as well as continued growth. Of our players and teams, Miami fans shouldn't be too surprised and more coach changes could be coming, another coach that fans are waiting to learn is special teams coordinator Danny Crossman. Miami Specials teams have been underperforming for several years and Crossman hasn't improved on that since his arrival in 2019. Would be surprised if he kept his job but so far, he's still alive. What's next for Boyer? Don't be surprised if he joins Bill Belichick back in New England or follows Brian Flores if he gets the job as head coach of the Arizona Cardinals.